Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, I've been sick for a couple of days, so I'm sorry that I've not done any reviews this week. But while I'm sick with a stuffy nose, I'm going to get my sister Sophie and the dog down here to um, <laughs> smell my favourite fragrances. So I, I brought a selection of my favourites for you to smell. A few of them you'll recognise from me obviously wearing day to day and you'll have smelled a few of them before. But I've never really kind of asked your opinion on it, on any of them. Mm. So this is just like, generally what do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you think I have good or bad taste? So Hendrix. I'm babysitting Hendrix mm. down here. What's up? Um, should we just get Hendrix up just to have a quick hello? Because he <coughs> might be making a few noises. Oh, come here. Oh. Dog's glow. <laughs> this is Hendrix. Isn't he gorgeous? You are a handsome pooch. He is rather handsome. Right. Um, yeah, so Sophie's going to smell my favourites. Uh, I just want a completely honest opinion. Completely honest. If you don't like it, I'm not going to be hurt. Don't worry. You can say it's terrible. Um, completely honest. Like Generally, kind of what you think of it, if it's male or female. Because I think personally, pretty much my entire collection is unisex. Right. I think yeah, a woman could... Yeah, any of these. I was wondering, like, who would these? But I want to see the association for you. Right. If you think, oh, this smells more like a woman to you or a man, or it doesn't matter, or like that kind of association. Okay. And kind of just what it gives to you in general. Um, so we'll start you off on some of the lighter fragrances. This one is Narciso Rodriguez. EDP for him. This is my only designer fragrance that I have. Um, and this is this is one of my favourite fragrances. I've had it quite a, f a couple of years now. Uh, what you sh generally get from it is kind of a light, clean, I would say slightly floral, musky scent. Okay. And in my opinion, it's it's marketed to men, but I don't think it's masculine. It's it's either or. It doesn't matter what. But what do you get from it? And if you like it, if you smelled that on me walking around, would you think I'm wearing something terrible or? Um, oh. I can tell by your face you're not impressed, are you? <laughs> I actually really like that one. Um, mm. I'm not overwhelmed by it, I'll be honest. Uh, uh, Does it give you any association or feeling at all, apart from just not I, kind I, of digging it? I can, I can tell that it is very light and fresh. Um, it's just not, I don't know, it's pretty bland to me. Mm. Well, see, to me, it smelled like um, like a futuristic musk, like that's what people in a hundred years' time might smell like on a spaceship somewhere. Gives me that vibe for some reason. Is that just me? Sterile. <laughs> one way to look at it. <laughs> um, well, it's just not your taste, that's okay. So, well, you, uh, well, you're not no, really into that one. No, there's nothing... Of a there's nothing, nothing offensive. offensive about it. I it's just don't. Not that it, interesting. It just doesn't excite me. That's all. Fair enough. We'll go on to the next one. Uh, this one is by an all-natural brand. It's called Abel, and this is one of my favourites from this brand. It's called Golden Neroli. Um, I'll tell you the notes while you're smelling it, but let's see what you think of this one. It's quite soft. It's pretty. Would you say, what would you say gender-wise? Does it strike a, an opinion of it's like... It's more feminine to me, is that? Because I, it's if I smell, if you smelled that, me wearing that, would you think I'm wearing like a woman's perfume or do you think a guy can still wear it? Because I, I wear that. I mean, you can see how much I've used. I've used more than half the bottle. Yeah. There's a lot of citrus in there, I can smell. Orangey. Yeah, there's... Which is nice. There's uh, and floral. Yeah, the floral is neroli, which is a clean soapy smell, but it has ylang ylang, which is a sweetness, mm. um, and that kind of smooth sweetness is mixed with a matcha tea accord. So there's like a soft powdery green note, um, and a natural musk accord as well. But I really like it. It's very mm. pre it's, it's pretty smooth. Kind of makes your mouth water actually. It's, yeah, you've got that juiciness. Yeah. Would you wear that yourself? Yeah, saying it's, no, it's kind nice. of slightly more feminine. Yeah. So you like that one? I like that one. That's good. So we'll put that in the in the like pile and slightly more feminine. Uh, a little, yeah, I would say so. I'd, I would agree with that, but I just, I'm not bothered. I like it, so I'll wear it anyway. 
Okay, this one is quite a famous one. I'm gonna let you smell this. I've only got a tiny bit left. Um, you can probably guess what this is. Um, it's Creed Aventus. I'm gonna let you smell it from the nozzle because it's super strong. Mm, okay, yeah, you do. <laughs> I don't need to spray you that on the car. I don't need to spray that, that's... Uh... Yeah, definitely one for the men. No. Masculine? Yeah. Do you like it or...? Mm, no, it's lovely. Yeah. Like if Chris wore that, would you think it would um, suit Chris? It's, uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. Hmm. Yeah. Do you think it's more professional or casual or like would you wear it to work or...? What does it does it give you any kind of like association that way? Um, I think it's probably a bit too nice to wear for work. Well, I, I don't like saying that. I don't think anything should be saved for best, actually. Hmm. But it does make you feel, kind of feel like you want to go out for dinner or something wearing it. Cool. Yeah. A lot of people like that one. It's very popular. Mm. Um, you'll have smelt me wear that because I mean I've. I've got a tiny little bit left. I don't think I'm going to buy it again when that one's out though, I'm not sure. Uh, so you like that one, mm. but that one is more masculine. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you another one that I, well, I'm not going to give you any opinions on it, so I don't jade your kind of thoughts on it. Um, this one is called Fate Sultan Mehmed uh, by Fort and Manly. Mm. This is one of my favorites. Oh, that's really unusual, isn't it? Mm. What do you get from it? Mm. Just in general, like associations. Is it more feminine, masculine, unisex? What kind of vibe do you get from it? I think it's more masculine. Hmm. I put it in a unisex category. I think a woman could quite easily wear it. Yeah. It's hard to describe, isn't it? It's really unusual. I'm trying to put my finger. I really this. struggle to describe it for yeah. ages. It's kind of like, um, see if this resonates with you. Imagine, mm -hmm, imagine like a a sultan, like a prince, lounging in a pool that's filled with petals of flowers, and there's incense burning around the pool, and he's indulging in the finest floral soaps mixed with the incense in the air and it's like this rich, rich Prince Sultan dude. It's kind of like a florally, there soapy, lovely... incense-y cleanliness the, to yeah, it. Yeah, but there is a lovely underlying richness to it. Mm. It's got a tulip accord and kind of all these florally notes and ambergris and mm. um, and there's a fruitiness as well. There's, a, there's an apple note in there as well. Mm. I really enjoy, I love wearing that one. It's, um, yeah, one I really that kind of grows on me actually. Yeah, it's just, it's very different. Um, which, is that something you would wear yourself or would like to smell on like a man or more? Do you know, I think I probably would. So you unisex then? Yeah, and you unisex. like it? Unisex. Yeah. So unisex and like. Okay, well, I'm going to give you another one from the same brand. This is called Boshnikov, Mr. Boshnikov's purple hat. You've definitely smelled this, me wearing this one. Um, I've used more than half a bottle of it already. Mm. It might be a little bit difficult to describe that one too. Yeah, again. But very, very different. It's a bit more kind of earthy than the last one, isn't it? It's a bit more um, uh, forest. Like, I don't know. There is an oud note, there's woody notes to it, yeah. but the oud is paired with lavender in the top, so you get like a herbal lavender mm. with a woody oud, and then it's combined with um, like a Belgian chocolate accord, so there's like a cocoa and vanilla chocolatey aspect mixed with those woods okay. um, and lavender. So it's, it's kind of a, it, it's simple and complex at the same time. If it's quite robust, I think. Would you say like masculine or feminine, or if you like it even? It's, it's definitely more masculine. More masculine? Yeah. Um, Is it something that smells good to you, or like not too fussed? Uh, I don't absolutely love it, if I'm honest. Don't absolutely love it. I think you've complimented me when I was wearing that once. You said I smell good when I was out in the garden. Mm, well, maybe if it's mixed with your skin tone, yeah. your skin oils, I don't know. 
But from the card, it's... From the card, I'm... You don't dislike it, though. No. Mm. No. I think, I don't know, maybe I'm comparing it to the one before. It, I mean, it's a completely different fragrance to the Fate Salt Memory. That yeah. one's like soapy, floral, completely different kind of genre. Um, this one is like woody, sweet. I much prefer the one before. You, you like the Fate Salt Memory? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> well, um, we'll move on. Okay. Um, I'm going to let you smell... This is one by Matriarch. This is natural-ish. I'm not sure what percent it is natural, but it's high up there. This is Devotion. I just picked two from this brand, um, two that are my, probably my favourites, or a couple of my favourites. I don't know what you'll think of this one. Um, you have smelled it on me, um, but see kind of how would you describe that, and if you, if you like it, or male or female, or unisex, or what does it give you? Yeah, I'd say that was unisex. Mm -hmm. It's quite complex. Oh, yeah, um... It has a lot of facets to it. I'll explain it to you if you... I kind of see the woody or... There's woods in there. Um, can you smell a note of cannabis? A green leafiness in the top? Yeah, it's a bit leafy. It yeah. has, in my opinion, it has cannabis essential oil in the top. It has a slight green note. It's it's mm. brief as a top note, but it's built around an incense accord. So this is a spicy, natural, resinous incense fragrance mixed with woods and ambergris and probably just a ton of stuff. Mm. It's a complex spiced incense. Mm. But you think it's unisex? Yeah. Is it appealing or just, again, not your taste fully, maybe? It's quite pleasant, actually. Hmm. Yeah. But not like a wow. It's, it's for my taste. It's a specific taste, it isn't is, it? It is, yeah. Mm. It wouldn't, wouldn't be one, one I'd, I'd reach for. No. Yeah. That's fair enough. It is, that house in general is very specific taste. Um, I'll let you smell another one from the same brand while we're on that. Um, this one is one that I wear now and again. It's called Kazimi. Um, I'll tell you straight off the bat, it's a rose fragrance, but I'll let you get a waft of that and see what you think. Do you like that one? Well, I like, I like rose, yeah. If I hadn't told you it was rose, would you know it was rose? Or is that in your well, head? It's obviously floral, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> it's quite a deep, dark rose. There's a little bit of spice. Kind of, there's woods and ouds and kind of darker materials in there too. Mm. So it's a deep, dark, um, ballsy rose, I would say. Would you say it's like masculine, feminine, or both, or how does it kind of associate with you that way? I'd be surprised to find a man smelling of rose too much, I don't know. Really? Mm. Hmm. Mm, I, I enjoy wearing it. Yeah. Is that your own just bias of what you think a man should smell like, though? That the, a man shouldn't smell of rose? Well, probably, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I imagine... Um... See, perfume nerds get over that, they're like, oh, it smells good, I'm not bothered. Hmm. But, like, most people in the world do associate this is feminine, this is masculine. It's, it's a bit of an interesting debate in the perfume world. But, uh... So, hmm. you would say it's slightly more feminine, then? based on that association. Just, just because of my association yeah. with the... But would you wear that yourself? Is it? Do you like it? Is it your taste? Or is it something you can appreciate but not quite your taste? I would wear them. You would? Yeah. Hmm. You don't seem to love it though. It wouldn't be one of my favourites. No. No, if I'm honest. I can tell by your reaction that you, you, you don't want to say that it's not that great, but it, it doesn't seem to be floating your boat too much. Yeah. And so it's okay? It's okay. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> well. uh, um, okay, so the next one, this is uh, Nasamato's Pardon. Um, this one is super strong again. I'm not going to spray this one. You can just smell it from the nozzle because it's, it's like a powerhouse. Well, that reaction's great. Hmm. Got the spray it for me. Come on. <laughs> Powerhouse one. Is it? Well, mind you, you've smelled a lot, so your nose is probably getting burned out. Yeah. We'll we'll might take a break after this one and then come back to it. So let your nose rest. It's my fault. 
No. Um, but what do you get? It, I, it's like, um, I, it was explained to me, and I didn't understand this for a long time, I didn't recognise it, but it's patchouli um, mixed with vanillin, like a vanilla, so it's patchouli vanilla, and the way it combines um, creates this kind of interesting accord that you can't tell it's either of those things. People compare it to smelling of oud, um, or some people say it's sweet and floral, there's like loads of, and some people say it's like cinnamon and oud and chocolate, but it's actually none of those things. Oh it's, yeah, I'm not getting any oud in that. Yeah, um, it, it's, it doesn't have any in it, it's, it's patchouli and, and vanilla for mm -hmm. the main part. It's very, it is got quite a sweetness. Yeah, it's a sweet, yeah. I would say sweet green woody fragrance. Mm. Would you say it's more masculine, feminine? People genuine. Well, I'll let you decide. I, I, uh, probably leaning on the masculine. Mm. Yeah. I was going to say most people consider it kind of a male fragrance. Yeah, it's quite. Um, Is, do you like it, or again, kind of indifferent to it? There don't seem to be. There's only two that you've like. I thought that you actually quite enjoyed. The others are like kind of they're okay. Mm. You don't seem that enamoured. You can not like stuff, so it doesn't matter. There's nothing to dislike in it, to be honest. You don't dislike it, but you don't no. love it. Um, it's just not. It's just not that great. Well, it's, I don't know. You, you... Nasa Mata Pardon. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> <sighs> okay, we'll move on. Mm. We're, ne we're nearly done now. Um, I don't want to burn your nose out. If you smell, um, have you got like a piece of just blank fabric? If you just my shirt? That'll do, yeah. Just smell your shirt. Okay. A couple of times. <laughs> Just clean out the, those scent molecules. Perfume particles. Yes. Um, mm. I'm going to leave that one out. I'm going to just use these last three. Okay. So, this one, you will have definitely smelled this on me because I've had it for, I think, five years. Um, Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. Mm. Yeah, it's quality in that. You like that one? Yeah. Do you genuinely like that no, one? It is, and it smells amazing on you. Mm. Yeah. So it's like a, it's a leathery suede, but sweetened. There's like a fruity raspberry note, and there's a bit of spice, the saffron in there. Mm. Um, but it's kind of just an accord of this kind of sweet, leathery kind of goodness. Yeah, it's really rich and, yeah. That one gets me the most negative feedback. When I get my hair cut, the hairdresser just, just he doesn't like it at all. Um, it's very strong, isn't it? Mm. I mean, I only it, ever it really packs a punch. I only spray it once, and he's still. Um, but I, I told people on my channel this already, but he he, mm. he did he made it very clear that he, he who was I trying to impress? He was saying, and I was like, I'm just wearing it because I like it. Yeah, it does make a statement. Yeah, it's very strong. Yeah. But a lot of people don't like it. It's a, I would say it's a polarizing fragrance. You either really don't like it or you kind of appreciate it, but there's there's, there's strong kind of reactions there with it. Yeah. But you like it. It, it's, it just smells of quality to me. I suggested that that could be unisex because a lot of people associate it that it's male. Would you, is that something that you would consider wearing? Or you could imagine on a woman. It's uh, it's a bit too overpowering for me. Too strong. Yeah. Mm. There are fragrances that use the same theme but tone it down a little bit and are a bit more mellow. Mm. But in that case, maybe you would um, wear it. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. Okay. So the last two, I'm going to show you two vanilla fragrances, but one is really expensive and one is dirt cheap. All right. And I'm going to see which you think is nicer or better, or if you think that's worth the money. So the first one is by Zerjoff, it's called Ivory Root. And the second one is Eau de Michons. This entire ginormous bottle cost me 10 pounds. Um, this little bottle cost me like, I think 130. So there's a big price difference here. Yes. <laughs> um, so this one is based on vanilla, sandalwood and spices. So I'd imagine you would like it. I might be wrong. Yeah. So you do like it? Yeah, very much. So you get the kind of spicy, woody vanilla. Mm. 
is it like, would you say feminine though, or it could be worn by men? Because I know like general associations for people that aren't like obsessed with perfume might associate vanillic with uh, feminine. It's, yeah, it reminds me a lot of, um, of traditional feminine perfumes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lean more down that route. Would you wear that? Mm. That's yeah. more your taste. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna spray this cheap one now. This one is ten pounds. This is just vanilla and resins. Um, just give you a little arm a sniff just to get that spicy vanillic notes out of your nose. Okay. Okay, try this one. It should be similar-ish. You still get the sweet vanilla but it doesn't have the spices that the other one has. No. So, I mean, it, it is different, but it's still vanilla-themed themed is what I'm getting at. It smells a bit like maple syrup. Hmm. Okay. It's, um, well, there's there's benzoin resins in there, so that will give it more of a sticky resinous thing, whereas this one's combined with sandalwood. Yeah. I mean... Do you like that one less, or equal to, or...? There's no complexity in that. That's very simple, yeah. 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 Um, it just... So you prefer the more expensive one? You prefer yeah. the Zerzhov? Yeah. You can smell the complexity and the richness in that one. Yeah. This one smells a bit simple. But it doesn't smell bad or... No, it's not... Yeah, it's... It's pleasant, but you prefer the other one. Hmm. So you'd rather spend the 130 quid for, for the Zerzhov in the nice bottle than the 10 pounds for the Eau de Michons. That'd make a good room spray, wouldn't it? <laughs> Well, for a tenner, it's not bad, is it, really? Yeah. So, I'm curious. So, we've, we've divided them up. The Narciso Rodriguez, I would say, is your least favourite. Um, I would I would have thought. Yeah. From your reaction. Um, Aventus, Pardon, Bojnikov, you were kind of... You were okay with, but not, like, blown away with. Oh, actually, okay, no, Aventus, did, you did, liked a lot, didn't did you? I like that one. You yeah. like Aventus. Yeah. But for a man. But Chris, you probably, I think Aventus was your favourite from, yeah. from, the, from the masculine smelling ones. Have another waft of that one. Yeah. Do you like that one? It's, uh... So overall, I would say... Gorgeous. Overall, I would say, I like um, my taste. What do you think of my taste? You're kind of indifferent to most of it, aren't you? <sighs> oh, in fact, you like Tuscan leather. Let me... Mm. I forgot about that one. You, you thought that one was good. Mm. In terms of you smelling it on Chris, hypothetically, would you rather him smell of Aventus or that Tuscan leather? Aventus. You'd pick Aventus. Yeah. Okay, settled. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Thank you very much, Soph. <laughs> um, just a bit of uh, entertainment while I'm sick and recovering from a horrible cold. Um, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, my taste sucks for the most part, apparently. It does not. It does not. I've got, I've got a couple of okay ones, um, so that's good. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Soph. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you again another time. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye.